Here we are on Pillars. Again, we rehosted. Team 1, OSP, Team 2, ANS. Immediately starting the recording. Because uh, I'm expecting this deployment screen to go very quickly. We've also got Beef here to help make the dream work. We're back. Because he is my teamwork. Kim Kaz Oops. has been on, on a few, but... I don't know, Beef and I have a much better back and forth natural, I think, than Chaos and I do. So maybe maybe I start out with the same deployment? More or less, yeah. Would you? Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, oh, I got that, that was together. Fast. Got dropped down fast. Yeah, that's why I started immediately. So here we are. I guess I, I do still need to go through all the ships because uh, you guys obviously aren't going to see the. 10 minutes of the last match that didn't get uploaded. So, here we are! We got Dramas here. Two 450 Ocellos with Ceresas and Bastions. Just joined by... Oh, deploying in a different place. No. Mungo Parker's down here. Yep. Joined by Mungo Parker and an MLS Bulker who's going to capture Delta and probably get missiled into smithereens by Captain Chaos, who's rocking a couple of missile destroyers. And EWR Tug. Lawrence Soul has a bulker with containers on it and mass drivers. Nice. And an EWR on the mass driver side of things? I don't know about putting an EWR on a mass driver ship, man. You really... Yeah. You don't have the electricity for that. And you sacrifice a gun slot, too. You can have three mass drivers. Yeah. Well, you can have throw four. that on a Tug. Well, he's gonna solo that too. Yeah. He's got two mass drivers and one C30. The enemy is securing zone common. It's a, uh, it's a bit of a wackadoodle build. We'll see how that works for him, though. Famous EWR on an Acello. Also, just seems like a waste. The enemy is securing zone and Razors. Or 50s. It's forlorn soul. Oh, he has the both enemy is securing zone boxer. Why did he put it on the rear mount? I don't know. It doesn't rotate all the way. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have to be flying ass first if he wants to say anything. Or it's, it's to keep an eye out for anyone coming from behind. <laughs> you can just throw it on the bottom mount. It does the same thing. Oh well. And uh, beam with a rocket capping fleet, which is hiding around. Maybe not. The enemy much secured capping. zone comet. I don't know. Might be might be counter cap. I'm not sure. Captain Chaos, who has not pre-fired those S3s after Delta, which might be for the best with all these assholes over here. The enemy oh man, Mungo zone though, dagger. immediately firing off his uh, shriekers. We'll go look at those the soon. Enemy zone the enemy is securing Zone Eclipse. 450 Axers out of Virgil. Meganaut with a rail and beam battleship. It's <sighs> just a completely cursed design. All these missiles in, they are crews, good man. I'm listening to my rants with all the other players who are. Even direct intos. These are all gonna get cleaned up though by these Sarissas. So many Sarissas out of Eric Can's fleet here. Ooh. Oh my. That is uh, one very dead sprinter. Yeah, I haven't seen Eric Can before, but this is cool. I like this fleet. It's got some S. 3H reigns. Hades and Zeus. With guns on them, and then Ewar and Sarissa PD. The enemy secured zone Atlas. And uh, Flak as well. This is a really cool fleet. I like this. Going out for. that shuttle. Ooh. <laughs> Sprinter. I got A though. And I think it's gonna be real hard for the OSP to cap Alpha with those uh with this 
parked right outside of it. The did these come in without drives? That would be so funny. No, they don't drive. Uh, well, yeah, they can't deploy right here. They'd have to fly up here. Just thinking the way they're just like parked here in this screen formation, this movie formation he's got going on here. All right, ready to defend this area. Lump of us all over here. It's an expert thing in position. This is this is coming up. This frigate. Massive battleship. Nice. These aren't gonna be going anywhere, I think. Keep going into this dead ship. Two scouts. Ooh. Some H2s. Aha! Gauss has mixed his, uh, mixes up a little bit. Bonk. Yeah, Pavis all the way around this MLS. I don't know about that one, Chief. You really need those bastions. <laughs> he lost his magazine with the. <laughs> 120 oh missiles in it. God. He is repairing it, but still, it's scary to think. First thing that gets shot out. It's going to be a portent of things to come, I believe, as missiles seek kind of the center of mass of a ship, generally, and that's where all the important bits are on this particular line ship. Both teams kind of standing off, neither really pushing. I mean, the OSP doesn't have that much push wit. Well, they've got, I don't know, they've got these Acellas, but they're all concentrated around Delta. Yeah, Hainas doing a good job just holding what they have. They don't have to push. And the frigates are in a good uh, spot to cover Echo as well, and the BB can cover Alpha. And Oh, Rook Can is bringing the uh, the Knights of the Round. Oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah. Gonna Gawain, Lancelot, Galahad, Burst Ball, I think. All the important ones. Where's Merlin? He's not a. He's not a knight. Yeah, it should have been the sprinter's name at least. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! One of the missile court missile DDs getting hit. He's got nerve restores. Yeah. He's lost he's his prowler drive. Popped out by these piranha rockets. Wow, that's huge. That is immense pain. Luckily, Kills those, those shells are dead, but. Uh, I think with that being spotted, another volley of these roll off could come in here. Finish it off. Just thinking of an extra dash of S2s. Just to make sure. A few of these shriekers get through. Hit the order of bronze, but. Not too much damage. I mean, that's not. It's definitely bad. Taking those hits. I think he could have he dodged more effectively with the Jaff and backing up. Okay, a couple hits are fine. He's yeah. Lost a birthing and the antenna on one. And... Not the birthing! Not the birthing, yeah. Where Mashed are they going to have the babies? What the hell is a bushwookie? It's a container? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are uh, Forlorn's banners. That's not correct. There we go. 
I... He's a little too trigger happy with these. He fires them out really early, but they, they're, they're finishers is what they are. And he, he fires them real early into things, and that inevitably happens with them. Yeah, uh, you might want to keep those since you only have, uh, well, just, um, yeah, four of them. Sorry, fired two, apparently. Sure where the other one at. Two packs of missiles passing each other. Ships in the night. Ocean. Hard killed. These H3s could be quite effective against this group over here. I don't think they have enough. Great. Well, the sources can kill them while they're coming in. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. Because they definitely don't have enough Auroras or Grazers. Such a weird little formation they got going on on Delta. I think yeah. if Chaos just comes in from the back, we could start taking things down over here, use these rocks for cover, and then just... Real easy. Bean making a move for Bravo. Shoals are spotted now. Axford's backing up to put some fire down on these shuttles, making their way around. Are there any 250s on here? No, it's all 450. Flying in. Not going that fast. These might be on rail. No, they got a standard drive. Shuttles without sun drives? No fun. Come on, deploy, hot single moms. There we go. Oh. One land. Right on the nose. Needed. I bet that's another bird thing getting taken out. That's gun plot. It is a problem. Where is the birthing on this? It's uh, at the top. Interesting. He's got two birthings. He's also got one in the nose with the auxiliary stream. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Two birthings. That's a lot of S2s. Stop going after the big ships. Go kill this freak swarm with these S2s. They could destroy the freak swarm. Are these missiles are very hard to TV. Don't we can make it through. This battleship's got too many defenders. Well, one made it. <laughs> Just one. Took out both bird things. Lol. Oh. For this, I think you're gonna have to have a talk with Mechanaut about his build. Damage control, really? Yeah, it's got an Intel Center. It's it's an interesting build. That's one way to put it. You really not tanky. You're a glass cannon. You got a spyglass in there. Yeah. Does it even have a bullseye? I don't think uh, it does. It does have a bullseye. Yeah, it does. It does on the nose. Missiles coming around the front of the back, like you said. Yeah. Two might stage. Too strong. Stage. Ah. Oh. You're firing into Sarissa's. You gotta mass up, even with the expensive missiles. You gotta wiggle them around a little bit too. That's a lot harder to do with S3s. S3Hs. Tug coming around the corner, getting schwacked on by a sprinter. Yeah, he's trying to sneak Bravo while the shuttles grab attention, but... Yeah, Mark 62s with RPF are going to take 
care of that. Toot sweet, even got one ammo elevator in here. The rocket's getting ready to fire. I'm trying to. I think he's going for this. Yeah, he's going for the, the sprinter, the big axe. For it. I've only gone after these big ships with strong PD. Kill the frigates! Kill the frigates! They're such easy prey! Rockets off on the sprinter. Whoa! Oh. Oh. No hits. He's also got very little velocity. There's a couple. Ooh, yeah. See you later. Well, fortunately, though, the frigates have come over to play goalie. And this is coming too. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Let's start capping Bravo, but. I don't know if they're going to be able to finish that cap. B needs to push his ships down really low in the base of the rock here to reduce the uh, opportunity of the frigates to play goalie, as you said. We are oh. contesting zone boxer. Yeah, and as the missiles get shot off of that, it's gonna be on the same playing field as a single CIC. The enemy is oh. securing zone boxer. Finishes it off with a rocket. Mm. Though. Bye bye, EWR Tug. Bye bye. There it goes. Play two rounds from the Tugs, or from the Frigates. Clean it up. The enemy secured zone boxer. Ooh, they're able to get Bravo, though. Uh, I don't think they'll hang on to it very long. No, but it is going to force the ANS to uh, give up their position a little bit. Or it could just split off one frag and cap it. I feel like they'll be safe. Uh, yeah, I agree. But I'm not sure if the players know that all the rockets have been destroyed on these ships. I certainly wouldn't be risking that. It's an MD vessel. I'm just really not able to do anything. One of the shuttles. These drivers are being shot at this uh, battleship, though. Four fifties, yeah. Rail and beam battleship. And the funny thing is, the E reg will buff both, so. Yeah, when I put both on. Yeah. That one. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Okay, yeah, that's three energy regulators.
Who's got four? Uh, who's got a small one? Small. He's uh, being a little too aggressive against all this. He's coming out here. I think he's right. Yeah, he's breaking now. Realizing that, oh, maybe maybe three of cellos and the uh, liner. I can, maybe I can't fight that with two railguns. I think these single hot moms are gonna catch one of these cellos out though. There they go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All out of the nose. The enemy secured zone boxer. And that says recapped Bravo. Haven't given up, given up their lead. Still 120 points ahead. Watch we gotta do something, but they're moving in this big clump here. Now which one are we doing? Might be grouped up to deal with the missiles. Oh, I think that liner is pushing the Ocello around. Yeah. Yeah, whoops. There's your fucking... There's the thumbnail. back here to get something done. Um, I think they finish off one of these destroyers. I don't even count as dead, I'm not sure. In fact, I'm not sure why this is dead. It's CIC still on. It's got a reactor. He left it. Oh, he abandoned he, it. He abandoned it, yeah. Okay. It didn't have any restores and it wasn't able to move. Yeah, but so it he... still have some missiles. It doesn't. Hmm. Empty. All tubes empty. The one tube that has uh, eleven left is uh, knocked out. Yeah, the damaged one. Interesting. It's gonna be kind of funny though if OSP doesn't know it's dead and they might put a lot of rounds into it like they're shooting at it right now and it won't ever deploy its uh, life pods because it already did <laughs> yeah, that's also true <laughs> or make a noise really because you know, yeah. wow the antenna already downed on this battleship that looks like he's not spinning a restore on that I got four restores. What do you spend it on? It's true. Antenna's one of them. You, know, you don't want to. You, you need that. You gotta have it. Another pack of shuttles coming up to Cap Bravo. I think these frigates see them. They're gonna be dead real quick. Yeah, they see when the frigates are breaking and getting ready to rotate and fight. There's the RPF. Not the best track on these just yet. Oh, there's a lock. Some shakers going after that dead destroyer. Stop Bravo just with the RPF fire. I'm gonna try it again. I'm just gonna leave. Understandable. Mm 
I, I guess we kind of need that point though, but yeah. Run away. Oh, they're off. Why is all shuttles going towards it? Looks like they've stopped. Yeah, he should have tried to get both at once. He, or just cap it now. There's nothing there. The BB moved. Yep. Yeah, these shuttles could go up and cap Alpha, and then he waits for them, and then pushes these under Bravo. Let's put the attention to the anus. There you go. One off now. It's not the one I would send now. I would have sent the the uh, jamming one. Yeah. Oh no, he's not sending all three of them, right? Mm, he sure is. Yeah, no, that's for me. Solid move, but the frigates aren't really going down towards Alpha. They're backing up on him to help out. Maybe. Maybe. Bravo. Okay. Yeah, you wanna you wanna hang on to Alpha and Bravo. Right now. That's where the frigates need to go. They're not done. The enemy is securing his own hands. Okay, let's see it. Can they capture Alpha? Catch up a uh, 200 point lead. Zone Atlas. Yeah, I'm not sure what Oryx is deciding to do. Going around instead of going inside, he'd be able to shoot those sprinters, shuttles. Uh, both of them. A lot of you are at this cellar back here. I think he probably wants to launch missiles at it. Yeah, yeah, there they go. I just. Sure, why not? Well, these are all going to be popped out of the sky with services. Maybe. Uh, uh, not if there. they're being blinded. Oh, nope, there they are. Yep. Wow, that was one, one volley of Sarissa. Okay. See you later. Let's be able to cap Alpha, but being one point ahead is uh, not going to cut it. And they, they got to have Bravo, too. They really do. Or Kid Echo. They're way too far behind to try and let off of having a single cap advantage. They're going to be able to cap Bravo, though. The frigates are too far, and the experts won't be able to shoot them. Yeah, they're going after the Asomo. I'm not really sure what they want to go after. They're kind of angling towards everything all at the same time, which has resulted in them just getting stuck back here. Stop trying to angle. The enemy is securing zone boxer. 
and he's going. He's gonna come after these split axe herds, and in that case, that would actually be most powerful. Especially without the, uh, Suros's being up here to snip some missiles off. Oh, but they're gonna get lured by chaff. Not all of them. Pain. Ooh, I asked for the eating rockets. Yeah. The enemy secured zone box. Oh my god. That was so many rockets. <laughs> and uh that's one dead axe Guess he could very slowly bring it back to life with recovering large walker and then grabbing some other things, but that's Nah, the, the game's not going to be going for long enough for that thing to get back in the fight, no way. I think it's probably going to be cleaning these up, though. You'd hope so. A little bit of a misplay. I don't think he should have went around like that. Uh, loud. OSP to cap. Uh, two points. Yeah. To uh, shoot hybrids that got surrounded by, you know, just not. It wasn't your job. Your your goalie. You yeah. Tried scoring. Yeah, I think that's the best way to phrase that. Is that it's not. It wasn't your job to do that. To handle that, he really needed to stay in a place that exerted pressure over Bravo and Alpha. And shuttles from back capping, and he just gave that up. If he was here, he would have been able to kill these shuttles. Axford would have never gotten hit. Yeah, he looks around that inside, prevents caps on Bravo and Alpha, and kills all the shuttles. No question, and it's a and it's victory. Easy to clap. But as it is, I think, uh, I think the OSP's actually going to take this right at the last second. You know, secure those points and downing these both axes? No, it's just the one. Another one getting over here on Bravo. We're divvying up his fleet. Will be fast enough, though? I don't know, his rocket's going to the other axe for that Bravo. Oh. Man. Man. <laughs> if only if the frigates... Yeah. ...stayed around. Yeah, I think the frigates did a really good job in getting control of these points early on in the map. And if they had just kept doing what they were doing, it was a victory. Straight up. And the poor frigate's not getting mass driving and hit by missiles. Are they desperately gonna try to cap Alpha. They the might be able to. Some end of the match. Single hot mom's coming in as well, finishing off that and just full destroying this MLS bulker. Man. Just in the nick of time. Um, sadly, though, they need. Uh, I think it's too late. I think it's too late, too. More rockets coming in. Doesn't mm. matter. It's not going to be able to cap Bravo. Shuttles are going to be able to hold it. The 450 expert isn't going to be able to dish enough damage out. And then they could maybe get something onto Echo. Although there is the Gawain going for Delta. The 
enemy do secured it. Zone Atlas. It's so weird if, if these Acellas just like stayed outside the map the whole game. Yeah, if they... I don't know, this rains can cap Delta. Oh man, are we going to see victory snatched? Oh no, I actually don't know who wins this. We had a fumble and then we're going to have a recover? What? <laughs> might be another tie. Uh, might be. <laughs> Damn near. The enemy is securing zone dagger. Let's see here. If, if the assault doesn't kill the rains. And I don't think it can with 450s. It could. It's just not firing at them so, now. Yeah, Ten minutes remain. A small problem. You need to you shoot at that. Oh, you can't even see it because it still has a jammer on it. No, it's seen. That is seen. Well, I think the it's jammer. Yeah, the jammer just went on cooldown. If they cap here, I think. I don't think it's gonna be fast enough. I have no idea. I don't think it's gonna be fast enough. It's not gonna be fast enough. No, one more tick and it's over. Yep. OSP takes the W right at the, the last second. Womp womp. Womp womp. It was all Uruk Can's frigate maneuvers. That's what that's what got the ANS off to a really strong start. And that's what lost him right at the end. Positioning is key. Positioning is everything. Yeah, poor Lauren Soul. Just like fucking around at the top of the map. I don't know what that was about. Dram's kind of doing the same thing. Just like clear my 450s. HOJ active. Instead of ARAD active on the block two shriekers. Very interesting. Shields being pretty effective. Yeah, Virgil also just kind of. It's a really low damage match. <laughs> All the big ships on both teams just sort of chilling. Yeah, 2,500 damage on the battleship. About just south of, well, just over 3,000 across two axe routes, 50 axe routes. I'm just hanging. There's all the frigates and the shuttles and this, this bulker. And the destroyers. Weird game. Weird game. Good game, though. Indeed. I thought ANS had that in the bag. And it was a bummer to see him lose that. Yeah. That is... The game. Weird match. Weird match. Good day, dear viewer. I hope you enjoyed that oddity.